my name is Sophia, and I will be interviewing Greg Gear for your American literature class. So, why are we making this video? Well, Sophie, thank you for asking that question. We are making a video today because today, when I am supposed to be standing in front of you, telling you what our class is going to be like, I'm getting ready to get on a plane for Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, as some of you know, and maybe you read this in the email that I sent, I am a writer as well as a professor. And so I am leaving today to go to the biggest literary festival in the world, the Edinburgh Festival of Books. And so Baylor is sending me to uh, go and speak there and at a place called the Greenbelt Festival. And so I'm actually going to be gone for eight days. And um, so I wanted you to hear a little bit about the class from me um, before I came back next Thursday. And you're going to be in good hands from now until then because you're here with some folks uh, who are going to take really good care of you and have good conversations with you until I get back. But I wanted you to know a little bit about me. And so Sophie, my daughter, uh, and I are sitting in our backyard in Austin, Texas, and we're going to just have a little bit of a conversation about the class and what the class is going to be like so that um, I hope that you'll feel a little bit more at ease because that's one of the things that needs to happen on the first day of class. So that's why we're making a video. Okay. So what's the most important thing about class? I think the most important thing about this class is that people need to kind of set their expectations to the side. Because a lot of times when they have a literature class in high school or even in college or junior college, it's not a really great experience. And um, so sometimes people come into this class really nervous. And they may have heard that this is a, a good class or an okay class or the best kind of class that you can get. But what I want people to think about is that this is a class that's not um, just about literature but about life. And so the stories that we're going to um, explore and the language and the poetry and all of the other stuff that we're going to look at is going to teach us about who we are as people and who we are as Americans and help us to wrestle with some of the big questions about who we are, what we're supposed to be doing here, um, why we're on the planet. Um, I think that literature and art really matter because they help us know how to live. And so I'm not interested in your, in your, in your remembering, um, you know, what year something happened or um, necessarily knowing facts so much as I am interested in you being able to apply what we read and talk about it in an intelligent way with your classmates. And so the most important thing about this class would probably be to put a bunch of your expectations about what a literature class ought to be kind of over to the side and just say, I'm going to see what this is like. And um, do trust me when I tell you I've been teaching for 30 years, and this is one of my very favorite classes to teach. And I have never taught this class before when people's lives have not really been like changed by it. And I know that's a lot to say about a college class, but I want you to hold the, the space open for that to happen. Okay, so why do you like teaching it, this class? This class, American Literature. Mm -hmm. Well. One of the things that I love about this class is that we're going to be studying some of the greatest voices in American history and culture. And we're going to be learning from them what they found important about life and about being an American. We're going to look at a bunch of different kinds of Americas because one of the things that we're learning over the last year or two is that although we thought we lived in a society that was kind of free of race and class, that doesn't really seem to be true. Um, where people come from and what their experience is like really does matter. And so what I like teaching about this class is that at the end of the semester, we'll have had a chance to learn from some of the great minds, the great writers of American literature. But we'll also learn some things that um, help us understand something about who we are. And so when I read Hemingway or when I read Martin Luther King or when I read Jane Hirschfield, um, their lives are really different from mine, but I'm seeing what they've learned about life kind of boiled into uh, the poem or the short story or the, uh, the novel that they've written. And I can kind of take that information and do something with it. So it's not just um, about learning facts, as we said. It's, it's about kind of learning uh, how somebody who sees life in an interesting way um, can teach us about our own lives. Okay, what would, 
you like to learn? What would you like people to learn this semester? Oh, yeah. Well, I think kind of fitting together with all the stuff that we're talking about here, um, I'm going to make this a multi-part answer. And one of the things that you're going to learn, we're going to do a lot of like Socratic discussion in class. And I ask questions that kind of get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so like I will ask something that has like five questions to it. And I'll just sort of say, um, answer any one of those. So I'm going to give you kind of a multi-part answer uh, to prepare you for the multi-part questions mm -hmm. that are going to uh, kind of come to, to you as we talk this semester. What would I like you to learn this semester? I'd like you to learn that you are capable of reading really challenging works of literature and understanding them. So we're going to read um, some challenging novels. We're going to read a novel by William Faulkner called Absalom, Absalom, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is a super, super great novel. Mm -hmm. uh, and people are always intimidated by William Faulkner because the style is really kind of challenging. And so the first thing I want to do is to give you the tools that you need to read anything and feel like you can understand it and get something out of it. Um, the second thing is I want to give you the opportunity to have real conversations because I think one of the things that happens even though we are more connected than ever is that we have a really hard time talking to each other. And we are a really diverse group of people. We're from all over the country. Uh, we've got all kinds of different backgrounds, religious, cultural, political. I mean, we are very different from each other, but I want you to understand that, that it's really still possible for us to have conversations with each other about important things. The third thing is I want you to understand that art and culture and literature are not abstract and unimportant. Um, they're one of the ways that we understand ourselves and understand the world. And um, in the nonfiction that I write, I do a lot of writing about literature and culture and about how important it is to understand and so why we read Harry Potter or why we watch TV shows about the zombie apocalypse and so I want you to have some sense that literature deals with really important questions and it's a way that really smart and really sensitive people have tried to figure out life and then the last thing um, kind of builds off that because great literature asks big questions and I think one of the great things about being at a school like Baylor that is really interested in the whole person is that we can ask psychological questions and political questions and um, theological questions and we can we can talk about the whole human experience and that's what great literature does is it deals with um, the whole person okay. uh, who we are where we came from what we're doing and um, so that's why I'm excited that you are in this class this semester and sorry that I'm getting ready to get on a plane and I've been on so many planes lately, I cannot tell you how sorry I am not to be with you. But I will see you next Thursday, and you will have these first three classes. And um, I will check in as I can. Um, some of the places where I'm going to be, I'm not going to have internet, which is going to be kind of a strange thing. Um, but thank you so much for being a part of this class. And Sophie, uh -huh. thank you so much for this conversation. You're welcome. I love you. I love okay. you too. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.